emerge to produce useful, useful work. Uh, and, and hence, uh, you find that the financial system, like the production of checks, letters of credit, and so on, came to serve the then need. You had to sell something from Spain to India. How do you do that? Do you take a, a load full of gold on the back of a horse or a camel and take it all the way there? Or your letter of guarantee that goes perhaps by post, by somebody personal, or even by bird, uh, for that matter. But you have somebody guarantees uh, to another person in another distant part of the world, and hence that, and the check or called sack uh, in, in Arabic. So the, these processes, they, they actually emerge to, uh, in response to this industrial needs. And of course, people are hungry, they need food, and hence emerges a lot of uh, other now, there was this concept of health and safety executive as well, which uh, I thought that this is an excellent... Uh, from the very early years of Omar, uh, the, uh, the second caliph, we find that he has actually uh, uh, appointed uh, people to check, uh, to check selling, to check products, to, to make sure people pay taxes and so on. The, the, the concept of a uh, that is, uh, I, in our modern uh, day, I would call that post as the health and safety executive. Right. And the first two ladies under Umar, uh, the, the first two Mahtasim, one in Medina and one in Mecca, they were two ladies. Right. So I forgot their name now, but they actually two. Can you imagine they, were, they had the authority, executive, not only just to report, but to actually instigate a punishment at the same time. So I don't know how many people were uh, beaten by the sticks. Sorry? One of them is Shiva Yes. That's right. Yes. So they had the power to execute, not only to report, but they could even whip a person uh, and, 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 and uh, do the... Uh, so uh, the, these systems wouldn't have... Uh, uh, they would serve to produce industry, because you need an infrastructure. You can't just suddenly uh, emerge in terms of... Uh, now, the global industry uh, uh, is, is, is very visible. Uh, someone uh, mentioned that a lady's dress in Spain uh, had... Uh, being, it's got jewelry, it's got embroideries, clothes, and so on. Counted the sources of this dress, where it comes from, all material. I right. counted 14 countries to supply the dress of that lady. So, can you imagine how global the industry must have been and the trade? Okay, um, I think that uh, uh, I would suggest you read this uh, the, the article, it's a, a very good one called Agricultural Revolution. There's quite a lot of it there, and it does definitely highlight the point that, that uh, Muslims had an enormous amount of uh, agriculture uh, that had had process which has the making of mass, uh, mass industry, the use of water wheels, windmills, water raising machines, the digging of long canals on the, on the ground so that the, and aqueducts over the ground and channels. Um, um, so, uh, uh, there is a question also that why wasn't there perhaps a uh, famine that is reported uh, almost between Spain and, and, and China you know, for some more, many hundred years? Uh, and how, is it, how, how was all this water system and how is it that they managed to do crop rotation so you can get more out of the land? Um, and I found that there was uh, a lot of interest in agricultural uh, machines so that they raise water from lower ground to higher ground. And of course, when you start designing things, any human being, given a confronted problem, because obviously the human, human, human intellect is there, uh, whether they did it before, whoever done it and before, and that's not really an issue, but we, we're only trying to discover facts there. The advent of machines like this uh, tells us a lot, and for me as an engineer, I find perhaps this is the first indication of a crank system. Where a, and the crank is a, 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 a process where you convert a rotational motion into vertical motion. And this is in Al Jazari's uh, manuscript, it's quite uh, clearly that we, we have that. And, uh, and you've got uh, also the advent of uh, this, uh, this is the same sort of scoop, but it is automated because you want to get maximum input. Uh, so you get water out quickly. So you get in here, you have four, four scoops. But the way the, uh, the intelligence in here, the ingenuity of it, is to create for the first time, which is what we call the beginning of CAM. These are gears, in this case they are gears, but they have less teeth. And they are organized in such a way so that one turns, then you get another one turn after another one, so you get a continuation and so on. Uh, the other one is uh, the use of, uh, of gearing system in a water turbine 
where uh, you have a continuous, uh, uh, and this is what we call the disintegrator. But Al Jazeera is done here, it's actually built a secret compartment into water in here. And as the water comes down, it turns this water turbine, it turns these gears, go through this shaft, turns this big disc, uh, and, then, and then go into these two gears and convert this motion, therefore, into another motion, higher up, the Cindy wheel, and then these are all buckets, takes water out, and then they raise it, therefore, the water is raised from this level to that level. What is interesting here is that this genius of his, he, had, he, he decided to hide it because, uh, obviously, he has explained that, that this room under the river or under the water right, is, is actually the secret of why the whole thing works automatically. So what is the use of this animal then? <laughs> right? He actually he says this animal is made out of wood. So that people do not accuse him of a witchcraft or is dealing with magic. <laughs> so when you're looking at this machine from a distance, it's actually an automatic machine. But because this animal is going around, people think it's our oh, well, uh, animal driving it. Uh, there are these control systems, they have a great impact on our industrial process. Because when you, when you get these gears, and you get the pistons, and you get the crank, you get the whirling wheel, and so on, they are actually the secret. When, when, when you look at any machines that we have today, they have to rely on these components before they can become automatic, and before they come. Then there is this enormous uh, effort of uh, an irrigation, and taking water from long distances to, uh, from the source to another source. And that is the digging of canals, like in the Yagara Water Reservoir, and then it needs to be it needs to be brought into uh, uh, long distances. And the idea here is is, is, is a great civil engineering work where you dig uh, these wells and then connect them there like L shape. You connect them to each other so that you use the environment itself to to, to, to push the water. Can you notice this is actually uh, there is a bit of uh, uh, ingenuity in here in terms of you get a bit of water right at the top. You have a water head, but this water head is not sufficient to actually take it very, very long distances. If you travel by air between Iraq and Iran and so on, you find that these go for miles and miles. We already see these holes, well here, uh, holes, but actually they rely also, uh, I'm told, on the air circulation, so that the air helps to push the water forward. And of course, you're protecting this uh, water. If it was an open canal, it would, the water would dry for a very long distance, would not get there. So, uh, you know, the, the, these, these systems, indicate that there has been, in fact, industrial uh, process in, in terms of uh, the ability to connect and, and, and measure and, 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 uh, and digging for water. And then later, of course, it would be digging for oil and so on. Uh, Norias, uh, maybe before Islam, some of them, I mean, they, a lot of these Norias have sprang all over the Muslim world, and particularly in Spain. And you see that these are, it's an Arabic name for water wheel. Water wheels came to Europe. And then